so welcome to crack testing interview in this video we are going to learn one of the interview question that is write a script for convert list to set so this is commonly asked in interview question so i'll start write the script and i'll explain you how we can convert the list to set right first we need to create an object for the list array list so i can say list list equal to new which is the new keyword we can say array list Okay, so this is the way we are creating an object of the array list. So we need to import this. So we can import Java util. Right. So now I am going to add a string data type. So we can define the data type over here as per your values. Right. Now I am going to add a string data type. So you can add a. You just define the data type over here. Right. Now I want to add the value to the list. So which is that referral variable. So you can say list dot. You can say add. So this method will going to add the value. So now we are adding the string values, right? So that's the reason we need to add within the double quote. So I can say selenium. So I'll be copy this. I can add a uh, two more values over here. I can say testing. So some values. So now we have added a three values into the list, right? Now if I want to print this, I can simply say list. So now this is going to return all the values from the list. Now we have a three values for that. So now if I run this, you could able to see three values will going to print in our console. See now these three values are printed over here. Right now, you know this thing. You know, it's just I want. This is returning a list of values. Now I want to convert this list into set. Right. So for that, we'll create an object of the set as well. I mean, you know, has set. So for what we need to do, we need to go set set equal to new keyword. I can say has set. So this is the way we'll be creating an object of the. Has set. So this is also we need to define the data type. Here we are going to convert, you know, this list, right? So list always already it is having a string data type. So same thing we need to define string data type over here. Right now I'll be importing this set as well. Here now if I want to convert this list, so what I can say in the while creating an object itself, we need to pass the list over here. Right. So now you know this list all the values it will be added over here in the set. Now we are converting this into list list into set. So now if I want to print the set, right? So simply I can say set. So I'll be uh, adding some messages. This value from list, right? I'll be concordating. So the same way I can say this value from from Set right. So this value from the list. This is the value from the set. So here also we need to concordate. So now if I run these things, what will happen? See now this value is coming from the list. This value is coming from the set. Right. So here both we are having a value, but in the list it is you know printing in order list, but set it is not a order list. This is an order list. So one more thing, you know, if I add a duplicate value over here in a list, right? Now this is the list. So if I run this, what happened? The set will not going to return a duplicate value. It will be overridden. So now here, if you see list, here we have a even in a list, it is going to return duplicate value as well. It will accept duplicate value as well. But in a set, it is not going to accept the duplicate value. It is going to return only unique value, right? So now This is the way we need to convert list to set. Right, so I hope this will help you. Thank you.